Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to set up a basic web page using Microsoft Word 2007. We're going to start by creating a project folder. What we'll do is we'll go to Documents and students if you're using a server account then you can go ahead and put this new folder in your server account. So we're creating a new folder and we're going to call this example website. Right now if we open up that folder, it's going to be empty. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to our Windows button. We're going to open up Microsoft Word 2007. And what we want to do is we want to set this up as a web page. Now, in the world of web page design, the first page of every website has to be named index. Index, I-N-D-E-X. Um, that's because the web servers pick that up as the home page and will display that page first. So we'll set that up right away. Going to the um, Office button. And we're going to go to Save As. And instead of Word document, where it says save as type, we're going to change that to web page. And the file name is going to be index. That's the name of our home page. Now, we'll go down to the example website folder, and we'll save that. To the website folder. Now you're going to notice that the page has expanded because a web page is going to be wider than a typical uh, eight and a half by eleven document page. So now we're in a web page, and we've got the full uh, width to work with. Everything that you use in your website, pictures, videos, anything that you're going to add, any rich uh, type of media that you're going to add to the website needs to be saved to that project folder that we created. In this case, it was example website. Any, again, any pictures, any videos, uh, any banners, things that you're going to use in your website, you want to save that to your project folder. And uh, we'll show you a little later how we can uh, save a picture to that folder and then insert it into the website. All right, so we're on our home page. We're going to make a very simple home page. We're going to go to the center of the page. And I'm going to bump up the font to a larger size, maybe 36. And usually a home page has some sort of welcoming statement. So we'll just say, uh, welcome Oops. to my site. OK. Now what we want to do is we want to make uh, a multiple page site in Word. So we're going to create some links to other pages. So I'm going to bring the 36 point font down to a 14. And hit the enter a couple times and we'll do three links. We'll do home. Uh, we'll add pictures. And we'll say contact information. I'm just making these uh, page names up here as we go along. Um, you can name your pages anything that uh, you would like to name them. Okay. So we're going to now create some links to these other pages, and then we'll go ahead and create the other pages. So we'll start with home. We're going to highlight home. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the insert menu, insert hyperlink. Okay. And you can see that our example website uh, folder is open. And I've got a couple options here. I can just select the file that I want to link it to. And I notice it's going to put index.htm. Index.htm. HTM means that it's a hypertext document, hypertext markup language. And all web pages will have that extension. OK, so we'll click OK. Now you'll notice that home has changed colors. 
right? It's now a, a blue by default. We can change that, although we're not going to get into the uh, specifics of how to change the hyperlink colors right now. All right, pictures. We're going to highlight the pictures link. And same thing, we'll go to hyperlink. Now, we don't have a pictures page created yet, so we're going to do that in just a minute. But let's go ahead and create the link. Pictures dot htm click OK and now you'll see the pictures has changed that pictures has changed to a link same with contact information and I'm going to call this contact dot htm Okay, so we have the links created. This is what we would call a site index, and it can be copied and pasted to the other pages, which is a, a nice feature. In fact, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to highlight these, and whoops, highlight, right mouse click, and copy. Okay, so now we're going to go to a new document. And let's go ahead and create our pictures page. We're going to go to Save As. Remember that we want to change this to a web page. So we have to change the type to a web page. And then we'll save it as pictures. Uh, pictures. Now it'll automatically put HTM at the end of that. So all we have to do is just the file name pictures. Go ahead and save that. And we'll go to the center of the page. Um, we'll go to that nice big font again. And we'll call this pictures page. Okay. And we'll just save that. Okay. Um, now, what I want to do is uh, I want to actually paste in the links that we copied from the, oops, the other page. So that's our next step. Hit enter and we'll do a paste. Oops. And now we have those links copied in the pictures page, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, we still have the contact information page to create, so we're on our way, but we're going to uh, go ahead and do the contact information blank document. Okay, we're going to save as. And we, uh, if I remember correctly, we decided to name this contact. And of course, we want to save it as a web page. Um, just so we know what page we're on here, again, we'll put a header on this page. Okay. And then we're also going to paste our links. I'm right mouse clicking, by the way. I'm just going to go ahead, whoops, and paste. You can see I made a mistake in where I placed that. So we'll move that. Hopefully you won't do the same thing. Okay, so we have a uh, contact page set up, and we're going to go to Save. Um, so we have the three pages um, all saved into our project folder example website, uh, project folder named example website. And now I think it would be a good time to test whether or not uh, these actually work. So, uh, with that in mind, uh, we'll get into that folder. Uh, in my case, it's in the Documents Library, but for you, it'll probably be in your student server account under your computer tech folder and then web, web page unit folder. Then you're going to create this project folder called Example Website. All right, well, let's go to the index page and see what we get. You can see that it's pulling up um, a browser, okay? And we have the index page. Okay, let's just... And I'm going to go back to the index page, um, making sure that I save that correctly. Okay. Okay, so it pulled up the browser. 
you'll notice that it's no longer Microsoft Word. I'm using Google Chrome, but it pulled up the browser and it says, welcome to my site. That's how we save that. So if we click home, it doesn't move because this is the home page. If we go to pictures, it goes to the pictures page. If we go to contact information, it goes to the contact page. What we've created is a way to get around to all the pages because we've really created a site index by pasting those links into each page. Okay, well we're going to close this out for now and go back to our web, web pages. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the recent documents and go to pictures. What we should do is actually put a picture on this page, seeing that we're advertising it as the pictures page. So I'm going to go to um, web browser and images and we're going to save a picture to our project folder example website. So let's uh, go ahead with dog and we'll choose uh, an image. We'll go with a puppy this morning. So I'm going to right mouse click that image, save picture as, and what I want to do is I want to save that picture to my example website folder. So I'm going to find example website, save it to at that folder. Now you'll see that I have these uh, folders that Microsoft has created, the contact underscore files, index underscore files, and pictures underscore files. I don't want to do anything with those. I don't want to go inside those folders. I just want to leave those alone. So I'm going to go ahead and save the picture to the project folder. And now I can get out of the cute puppy picture. <laughs> All right, back to my pictures page. I'm going to go to insert picture into my uh, project folder in documents example website and I'm here I have the cute puppy dog double click that now that's an awfully large photo so of course I'm going to have to um, size it to be a little bit smaller otherwise it's going to be too big for most screens okay So I've inserted that using the insert menu picture I found the picture in the example website folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this page. And I think it's a good time to test the website now to see if everything is working well. So we're going to open up index. All right. And of course that page hasn't changed, but we're going to go to pictures and see what happens. Our pictures page does pull up the picture of the puppy. Okay, so this is your beginning tutorial on how to create a basic page using Microsoft Word.